game day, Lawson. Prepare to meet thy doom. Don't make me laugh, Detweiler. We creamed you guys last year and we'll do it again this year. Oh, I'm shaking at my high tops. Spare us, Lawson. We've seen you fifth graders practice. Yeah, you guys womp. What was that, Detweiler? You heard me. You guys womp. That's it, Detweiler. It's go time. Hey, chill out, Lawson. Womp is just TJ's word. It doesn't mean anything. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know? TJ's the kid who will never get in trouble for swearing. Because of the verb to womp. The verb to what? It all started back in second grade. Sorry I got you sent to the wall, Vince. Every kid knows you're not supposed to cuss in school. Hey, I laughed and repeated it. It's just... <laughs> Bookerhead. That's a classic. You know what we need, Vince? We need a word that will never get us in trouble. A word that doesn't mean anything. That way, when we stub a finger playing wall ball or spill out cocoa in our laps... We can yell without ending up at the wall. Neat. But what's the word? It's gotta be something short, sweet, and meaningless. How about sprocket? I think that's a part of a tractor. Borscht? That's some sort of dessert. Phlegm? Too gross. Oh, man. Just making up stuff womps. Womps! That's it! No giving skin at the wall! So you mean womps doesn't mean anything? You got it. Cool. Oh man, we got so wound up in Detweiler's story, we missed recess. This womps. What did you say, Detweiler? I just said this womps. That's it, Mr. Potty Mouth. It's the principal's office for you. March! But, but Mr. Fixer, you, you don't understand. Guys, we gotta do something! Bad language is an automatic level for detention! Oh, come on. How could they possibly punish TJ for saying a word he invented? This is a very serious situation. A very serious situation indeed. We can't have bad language in school. I know, sir, but... You see, bad language undermines authority. It demonstrates impertinence, disrespect, laziness. But all I said was... I know what you said. Now, I can't keep up with you kids and your gutter slang, but Miss Finster assures me it's filthy. I have no choice but to give you detention level five. Level five? Man, this womps. Make that level six. Are you ready to push me any further? Four o'clock. Oh, man, how long are they going to keep him in there? Hope you've learned your lesson, son. Know this, I've alerted the entire faculty. Your little word is now officially forbidden. Were they tough on you in there, Teach? Did they let you do your homework? Or go to the bathroom? Sure, Gus, but a trip to the boys' room can't buy back what they took from me. What'd they take? They took my word. They made it into something ugly and unclean. Well, two can play that game. Or 200. What do you mean, TJ? Guys, I got a plan. Okay, boys and girls, here's the fun part. Let's name our kickball teams. Uh, okay, Mr. Kluge, we're gonna be the wild fish. Very clever, son. Vince? Watch out, wild fish. We're the Wompers! Well, Sal, that word is off limits. You know that. Principal's office, pronto! It's begun. Hi, Mrs. Lunch Lady. I'd like the Salisbury steak, please, with black-eyed peas and a big wampin' helping of mashed jams. Send her to the principal's office. Wompy, you people should be ashamed of yourselves. Out! Miss Lemon, please tell me these kids are here to present me with the world's best principal black. Nope, just more kids saying the W word. I can't stand it anymore. I haven't had a moment's peace in days. That's it. Out of my office. Sign your names on the sheet by the door and get out of here. Who the heck is Wompy Womperson? I... Oh... That's it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Special services. Quickly here from Third Street. Yeah. I've got a situation. One of my bad apples has spoiled a whole bunch, if you know what I mean. You've got to help me. Hold. Okay, we're sending over Mr. White. White? You mean the cleaner? That's right. If anyone can solve your problem, it's him. And Prickly. Yes? Don't use this line again. Let's see those little whoppers laugh now. Thank 
signature here, Mr. White. Now, about this bad language situation, I was thinking we could institute a nickel-per-use law. Show me to your office, Prickly. I'd like some Darjeeling tea and six vanilla cream sandwich cookies on a china plate. But this isn't tea time. It's an emergency. It's time for action. First tea, then action. Who was that guy? Tedweiler! Someone wants to see you. So that's all story, Mr. White. I just made the word up. It doesn't mean anything at all. I understand completely, TJ. You seem like a fine, well-meaning young man. You needn't worry about this anymore. Thanks a lot, Mr. White. Frankly, this W word is a cancer. It must be removed. Removed? It's that serious? Serious? You heard the word dang. Yes. Well, dang started out as a harmless replacement for a certain bad word. But it spread like wildfire across playgrounds and gymnasiums. Today, it's no longer a stand-in for a bad word, but a full-blown bad word in its own right. I had no idea. I let that one get away from me, Prickly. Well, I'm not about to let that happen again. The womp stops here. How exactly do we do that? By making an example of the boy who sparked the fire. An example? Good, good. But how? It's already in the works. Kids of the playground, I talked to their man White. He assured me this whole thing was a misunderstanding. <laughs> From this day forth, no kid will ever again get in trouble for saying the word WAPS. DJ Detweiler, freeze. Do others step away from the kid. Son, you're coming with us. DJ, 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 DJ. It was then that Mr. Detweiler uttered a word so vile that I cannot bring myself to utter it in these hallowed halls. A word so dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, that if left unchecked, its usage could wend its way into our children's vernacular, eventually causing society to crumble and civilization as we know it to come to an end. I love that man. Superintendent Skinner, your decision is clear. Make an example of this miscreant. Expel him with extreme prejudice. That way, no child will ever use this word again. The Board of Education rests. Thank you, Mr. White. Eloquent, powerful, and not just a little frightening. Theodore J. Detweiler, based on the evidence presented here, I have no choice but to sentence you to... Wait! Superintendent Skinner, I have a witness. My old professor, Dr. Reginald Dice Weathersby, Ph.D., slangologist. Slang-o what? Slangologist, sir. Dr. Dice is an expert in American slang, and he's agreed to speak on TJ's behalf. What up, Highbinder? I'm here to lay it out straight for the can. Very well, uh, doctor. Um, uh, proceed. Chill, shawty, and let me do the barbering. It's all good. What did he say? Got me. Pad this, hammer man. TJ was just a boogler, helping his economist to a real gasser. You can't diss the kins for egging the props. You're tooting the wrong ringer, man. The big W ain't a word, Ace. That's the crap. This big of the egg don't hold nowhere. Superintendent, this man disgusts me to the core. I demand his testimony be stricken from the record and that he be forcibly removed from the courtroom. Yo, baby, this young is starting to egg me. I doubt this man is even an expert. I question his credentials. How dare you question my credentials, sir? I did not spend 12 years studying at the world's finest universities just to be slandered by the likes of some civil son. Superintendent Skinner, can I please speak for myself? Well, it's highly unusual in these hearings, but so is everything else here today. Go ahead, son. Sir, I know Dr. Dice is trying to help me, but the stuff he's saying, the way he talks, is from a whole other time. I also get what Mr. White's trying to say. New words just scare him, that's all. But the thing is, sir, making up words and stuff is part of what being a kid's all about. We love to make up names for junk. We're not looking for trouble. The fact is, I invented that word to stay out of trouble. And now, just because someone thinks my word sounds bad, I have to stand here today defending myself. I don't mean to be rude, sir, but if you ask me, this whole thing lumps. Young man, how dare you? Sir, I tried to keep that terrible word out of the courtroom, but as you can see, this young man has no regard whoa, for... Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Mr. White, what terrible word are we talking about here? Well, the word is wumps, sir. Wumps? White, are you telling me this entire proceeding is over the word wumps? Ah, uh, yes, that's correct. <laughs> sir, I fail to see what's so funny. The word! That's what's so funny, White. Wumps! It's a funny word! No, it isn't, sir. It's, it's shameful filth. Its meaning is clearly obscene. Doesn't mean anything obscene to me. How about you, young lady? Does wumps mean anything obscene to you? Me? No. I think it's just a clever and creative way to say how unpleasant. And you, sir? Oh, to me it means something's repellent or offensive. That or bodacious. And you? I think it's cute. It sounds vaguely French. Sounds like a type of fish to me. And I think it's funny. Anyone who hears dirty meaning in this wumps word probably has a dirty mind to begin with. The Board of Education has no control over what goes on inside people's minds, hard as we try. I, therefore, find Theodore J. Detweiler not guilty. 
That means you're expected to be in school tomorrow morning, young man. Sort of a hollow victory, huh, Teach? This rocks.